everyone, Jim from Javelin here with another tech tip. This one's about projected and true dimensions on your drawings. So I have a drawing here and what I'm going to do is I want to show these dimensions. It's 80 by 40 by 5 millimeters thick. I'm going to show some dimensions on some of these other views. So go like that. Uh, that's not quite correct. That's also not quite correct. That's also not quite correct. And the reason for that not being correct is because this is all the views on this page are set to projected dimension style. So if I pick on the view, go down here, my dimension type is set at projected. And what this does is this gives me what the dimensions are relative to a plane that's that's planar parallel to the screen that I'm or to my to my screen. So whereas if I were to go over to say sheet two, where all of my views are set to true dimensions, what this does is instead of measuring the length of the line on my drawing, it's measuring the length of that line in my SolidWorks model. So you can see when I pick those same dimensions here, it's giving me the true dimensions. So it's 40 and 8 and 80 and 5. Same as on my model. Now you might be inclined to think that that means that true dimensions should be what we always use, right? Well, not necessarily. They can be equally deceptive because if I go over to my side view here and I measure the length of this view, it comes up as 80 despite the fact that you can see that diagonally it's not 80. And If I click on the 40, it gives me 40 as well. You can see these arrows are kind of tipped so they're, they're not they're not normal to my screen. That can be deceiving because I might be inclined to think based on these drawing views that corner to corner the height is 120. Whereas if I were to do that true dimensions it ends up being kind of more like that. You can see more clearly what, I've, what I mean if I give the position of this hole here it's 20 millimeters from that corner in a vertical distance. If I dimension it from the side view you'll notice it's also 20 millimeters. But if I go over to this sheet and I apply the same dimensions this one's giving 32.02 which in fact is the distance between this point and the center of this circle. 